Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy. In the last video we have seen how this JSP gets converted into servlet and we can see the servlet code, right? And then we were having this issue. Now, the, the issue is, what if I want to write this code which we have written here in some other tags, example maybe in some other section. Uh, so in servlet it's I want to declare a variable as a instance variable. How do we do that? And how do we import the package? So let's achieve that. So in this video, we'll talk about those four beautiful tags available in JSP. Now let me just name those things for you. First, so I will write it here. So the first one we'll be talking about is declaration. The next one is directive. Then we'll, we'll talk about scriptlet and we'll talk about expression. So we'll talk about these four tags. Again, we'll go in random order, but then at the end, we'll be covering these four tags here. Now by default, the tag which we use here, it is called as a scriptlet tag. So whatever tag which we are using here, it is basically a scriptlet tag. Now why a scriptlet tag? Because whatever you mention in this tag or in this section will be a part of service method. So by default, it doesn't matter how many tags which you write. It's not that you, you, cannot, you can only write one or you can have multiple tags here. Maybe before hello world also, we can write those tag and if you want to perform some operation there. So if I do this here, if I say, okay, we'll uh, so in this section, I will say out dot print Ellen and I will type, let's say, hi. So if I say hi now, and if I go back to my page and if I refresh, uh, you can see we, we got hi. And of course we got this text because I have written there, but I got hi, right? And if I see this GSP, if I see the servlet of this now, if I say view servlet, we will be having that hi here. You can see that it's working. So the thing is you can have multiple scriptlet tag, but all this code will go into your service method. What if you want something outside service? And that's where your declaration tag comes into picture. Example, let's say I want to, I want to create a new variable. So if I do that here, so instead of say hi, I will remove hi now and I will type int. I want to create a variable called as a, a, a coefficient and I would say coefficient is three. So if I say coef is three, and I want this variable to be created outside service, that is an instance variable. The thing is, if I if I just run this code, and if I say view servlet, you can see if I say view servlet, the variable is still not here. The variable is inside service. If you can see the variable is inside service method, because by default, that's what, that's what happened. What I want is I want it to be outside. And the way you can do that is by saying, hey, this tag is not a scriptlet tag, it's a declaration. And the way you mention that this is a declaration is by putting an exclamation sign there. So as you can see, we have declaration and we have scriptlet. So this is scriptlet, this is declaration. So we are saying, hey, whatever code we have here, don't put those things inside service. So when you say don't in programming, we say not, right? That's a, that's a not symbol, but basically this is a declaration or you can also say this is not scriptlet. Okay, this is two tags we have. We Do we have something more? Example, if you want to import a package, how do we do that? Uh, to use that package, what I will do is, let's use something which belongs to our package. Example, something like scanner. So if I say scanner, again, the scanner doesn't make any sense in this code because we are not going to accept any value from the, from the console. But let's say if you want to use any class which belongs to our package, in this case, we are using scanner. And if I say control space, you can see it belongs to java.util and by default java.util is not the default uh, package which you get you have to import it the moment i say enter you can see something has changed here we got we got a tag now this tag is not this tag is not simply a uh, angular bracket and percentage we have one more symbol here which is add rate now whenever you have a add rate symbol or add rate symbol when with this angular bracket and percentage it is called as a directive tag. So this is directive. So basically if you want to import a package or if you want to use some external tags, that's where you'll be using directive. Again, we'll talk about tags later. How can we import external tags? And then uh, how can we use different features of, of directive? But time bin, when you say add it, that is directive tag. So if you want to import a package, this is what you do. What if you want to import multiple packages? If you want to use start, you can do that. You can put start here. Now there's one thing you have to observe when you say import, it becomes an attribute. So we have to use a equal to symbol. So if I say view servlet for this file now, and if I go up, oh, it is not compiled properly. Let's do that here. I'll go back to this code. I will say refresh once so that or run file. 
and if I go back, oh, it's not working. There's some error. Okay, scanner is giving an issue, of course, because we have not written the code properly. I will remove scanner there because we don't need that. We only need to import the package. So once I have done that, if I go back to my uh, servlet, I hope, yeah, as you can see that in servlet, we call java.util.star. So this is how we use those three tags. We have declaration, we have directive, which is added it, and we have a, a scriptlet. Now we have one more, which is expression. And this, this is very special. Now, what is special? Let's say I have this variable, which is coefficient, which is three. What if I want to print the value of it? Maybe I want to print the value by saying uh, my favorite number is. So if I want to print this, print this line, and at the end of this line, I want to print three, which is the coefficient value. How do I do that? So of course, I cannot simply type co if because that's a string. It has to be part of Java code. So what we do is we simply use those scriptlet tag. We use angular bracket percentage and then we use percentage that will make it a java code but then we cannot simply type curve we have to say out dot print ln right that's what we do we say out dot print ln and then we can we can just put that in a bracket now if you run this code of course with semicolon and if you run this code now it will print my favorite number is and then it will print the value of curve which is three but your jsp says hey just to print just to fetch the value of a variable you don't have to do all these things what you can do is you can take your variable and put a equal to symbol there. The moment you put a equal to symbol, which means you're trying to fetch the value of it. So JSP is done. And I mean, in the backend, JSP will convert this to out.println. So whenever you have a equal to symbol with this percentage, it is called as expression tag. So that's an expression. So basically we have these four tags here, declaration, directive, scriptlet, and expression. And I will again run this code once just to show you the just just to show you the servlet of it. So code is running. You can see the output is my favorite number is three. That's working. But let me let me see the servlet of it. So if I click, if I say view servlet, we got the input package. We got the coefficient which is working. We got in the as an instance variable. But if I go down, you can see it says out dot print and we got coef. So whatever you have you are writing in that expression tag becomes a part of out.print and that's the beauty about about this so i hope you enjoyed this content content here so let me know in the comment section about your thoughts on jsp and this expression tags and if you have any questions so that's it click on the like button do subscribe for further videos